once you uncover the backflow, you need to excavate, clear, level, and tamp the area for the pad to be placed. When this is completed, it is time to place the pad As you can see, one person can place the pad in place over the enclosure. The hole in the center is adequate to fit over the installed backflow prevention device. Take care to center the pad over the device. Once this is completed, it is advisable to insulate the riser pipes. By insulating the riser pipes, you insulate the pipe against freezing, but you also protect the pipe when backfilling the center hole with gravel. This will make for a more secure installed device, plus this will allow for ground heating and drainage of the RPZ through the pad. Once the unit is insulated, you can backfill with gravel, giving the heat sink and the drainage for the unit. As you can see, it really doesn't take that much gravel. This will help to further secure the pad in place. If you do not feel this is adequate, you can use stakes, J-type stakes, to anchor the inside of the pad. It is now time to replace the enclosure over this. We'll show you what the enclosure that was there looks like. That enclosure was compromised by weed eaters. Then we'll show you another install that can be lockable. As you can see, this is the original enclosure that was installed on the unit. Now we will remove that. It fits over there fine, but as you can see, there are holes in the bottom which allow for air infiltration. We'll replace this with a new enclosure that is lockable. The Highline Model HP1 pad for backflow enclosures should fit any major manufacturer's enclosure designed for three-quarter and one-inch valves. Here Bob is in placing a PEZ1 over the installation with the hardware that was provided. As you can see, the enclosure can be secured to the pad with padlocks, thus making for a theft deterrent. This makes for a much better looking installation than existed prior to installation with the pad and should protect the enclosure from weed eater damage. Now you can backfill around the outside of the pad to bring it more level with, with the existing surface. We'll show you in a minute another enclosure that can be installed on the pad. Total insta install time for backflow pad and enclosure is less than 30 minutes using the HP1 enclosure pad by Highline. Total install time is less than 30 minutes. This is a Hotbox model HB1 installed on the Highline pad 
as you can see it gives you a little better access than the set over type enclosure this can be attached to the inside of the device allowing vandal resistance and the enclosure also top will close and be can be hasped with a padlock This provides for added security for the device.